No, oh, I don't want to go to work. This ain't fair at all. Alright, let me get my first cup of coffee. And then we'll mosey on to Gary. Let me get some coffee and then we'll see if that helps. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, be right back.
Okay. So, oh me. Oh. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Actually, it's not bad. The, the bad part is getting the start. You can definitely tell it's getting to be autumn. Gloomy and moist and damp and wet. And got my garlic in the ground. My experimental garlic. Hopefully Hopefully that'll take off. We'll see. By the way, we put the... we. If you've missed the chance to get a limited edition bobblehead, one of our road crew out in Palisade, Colorado donated his bobblehead back to the website. Well, you you got the green arrow, you dummy. Why aren't you going? Um, but he donated his bobblehead. So he donated one back to us. It is now up for auction one year after being able to buy the original ones. Bobblehead number 72 is now up for grabs. 50% goes back to the website, 50% goes to Wounded Warriors Project. help wounded warriors get back up on their feet veterans that have come back damaged and need extra help I think that's a, I think that's a worthy cause anytime we can take care of our veterans is always a good thing all right so are you gonna go you need to go Go, go, go. Why is everybody so slow this Until we can get in to see the dentist. 
need to absolutely do that. Uh, why did we do it on our few days off? Because the dentist went on vacation. <laughs> oh, so... So, we already put up the big grill for the winter, but I did grab the little grill. I did grab the little grill, and uh, I grilled 10 chicken legs, and uh, 10 sausages. Okay, what a good way to start. Let's do a computer brain reset.
Oh. do this garbage before we left the dang truck stop. Let's give the computer time to reset. What we're doing is we're getting <clears throat> we're getting a uh, we're getting a clutch inactive, clutch will not shift, clutch interlock will not shift. So apparently it doesn't want to shift this time. We were doing okay a minute ago, but. Not saying it won't even it won't even let me shift or nothing like that, so Why didn't it do this when we were at the truck stop? Just loaded up the freezer.
Alright, so...
gentlemen don't want to drive into uh, Chicago morning traffic and then lose your clutch.
Well, there's a Freightliner dealer right here. <laughs> Seems to be shifting okay now. But shops are able to keep up, you know, once codes happen. They're able to uh, pull them off even if the fault clears and I'll be able to see as proof that yes, there was a fault. Um, maybe they'll have us go to this Freightliner dealer next door. It's brand new. But the thing is, uh, I don't want to be in the middle of Chicago traffic when this leaves us stranded. <laughs> Believe it or not, a Thanksgiving holiday, a Friday, Friday, Thanksgiving holiday, oh, many years ago, we were coming out of Nashville, and you know how bad Nashville is. And the truck's brakes all locked up. And we were in the middle lane. And because it was crawling traffic, we couldn't even pull it over to the shoulder. And well, we ended up being stuck in the middle lane Friday. Thanksgiving weekend traffic. We were we we were on the news helicopter, the the traffic news helicopter. Uh, everything. It was. And the thing is, man, people were hollering at us. You know, cussing at us, beeping at us, the whole nine yards. And it's like, gee. It's not like I meant to do this, you know? We don't want a repeat of that. Um, it seems to be shifting okay now, but... I'd rather... I'd rather avoid the big problems if we can. Like I said, there's a Freightliner dealer here Maybe they'll let us go to the Freightliner and have them at least check it out and say, yeah, it'll work okay, or it's a bad sensor, we'll have it replaced in an hour, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like getting stuck traffic if we don't have to. My 
Might as well give you guys a good view while we're waiting. Seems to shift okay now. Okay, so fuel, it's a clutch. We're getting all the clutch alarms, not fuel alarms. Can you have a chicken leg while you wait? Sure. I cooked up 10 of them. Go for it. Mark, you want all nine chicken legs? What about everybody else? You gotta share, you know.
Well, Caitlin, we let the bosses, or we let the roadside people determine what to do. But we're not telling them what to do. It's their truck, they determine what they want. They wouldn't listen to me anyways. We're just a silly driver. It may just be another one of those silly sensor problems. Remember the low air alarm sensor that really wasn't accurate? It was just um, it was just a stupid alarm or sensor that was bad. Maybe maybe this would be the same, I don't know. All I know is we fixed, then filled up the freezer. Now's not the time to have things go wrong. This truck does have a big leak in it. Howdy, Dan. brought my big heavy-duty parka. <laughs> Alright, you want a hundred percent to go to Wounded Warriors? Let me fix that.
Okay. All right, so now the auction is changed to 100%. We'll go 100% of the special bobblehead will go to the Wounded Warriors. Help them folks out. Greg! Has it been two years ago since that? Wow. <laughs> Howdy, Doyle. All right, so 100% of the special bobblehead goes to Wounded Warriors. Been, it's hard to believe it's been a year. Since we uh, since we offered up the bobbleheads. I would have ordered more had I known they were gonna sell out so quick. At least it ain't snowing yet. We've actually had that clutch problem before, but it like cleared itself right away. I don't know what the problem is now. Wheel man, how you doing? Didn't we meet in um, Eggerstown, Maryland, Mr. Wheelman 82? I do know that the road crew gallery disappeared. We're trying to work on bringing that back. See, I remember you, wheel man. I need to meet again so you can get your medallion. And the medallion is in the shape of a wheel. You could you could use them as the hubcaps. What do you think? Oh, and you know, talking about rain and stuff, when we went through uh, Glenwood Springs, Glenwood Canyon, 
the next day they had to shut it back down because of more mudslides. And I just remembered that was a video that we were supposed to open up and we, we didn't. Yeah, if you use them as hubcaps, I'll give you two of them. <laughs> That's that little tri-pack on the truck next to us. I wish wish our truck would have one, but you know what? They're ten thousand dollars each. Hey New York, thank you, sir. If, if we could get an APU, but we have to pay for it ourselves. And once you put anything on the truck, it stays with the truck. I did not work on the Whataburger model. I did not. <laughs> I did not. I actually did some other things that needed taken care of. Knoxville, Tennessee, checking in. <laughs> Howdy, Kenneth. Well, at least we're not loaded right now. Together, Siberia. Woo! How you doing, Siberia? Howdy, Sherry. Morning to you, John. L.A. L.A. checking in. Greg Treadwell. Do I know how to repair a truck? I don't. That's why we have on-road maintenance. Columbus, Ohio. Howdy, Amy. Got any petrol for us in the UK? Uh, I'll give you a couple gallons. C 
see, the thing is, now that we have notified dispatch and on-road maintenance, if we were to leave and, and take our chances and something bad happens, like we get stuck out in traffic and we get hit or, you know, something like that, the very first thing they're going to holler is, you knew you had a problem. You were in a safe spot, meaning the Love's truck stop. But you chose to leave with a known problem before getting it checked out. And I don't want that responsibility. Because this is their truck. We let them give us the go-ahead. You know what I'm saying? You miss the old camera without the location and time? I thought a lot of people would like having location and time on there. Because everybody always asks, where are we? What time is it there? And how fast are we going? And all that stuff. So I thought it was good putting all the information on. might send us over to the freight line. Howdy home recording. Yeah, after spending $6,000 on the app, we're not going backwards. <laughs> Sydney, Ohio. I don't remember where that is. 1080. Um, I would love for it to be 1080. And our app will actually broadcast in 1080. The problem is that takes a whole lot more bandwidth. Uh, and, and you think we buffer now. If we did 1080, we'd do a whole lot of buffering. So we have to wait for the 5G to be rolling around, you know what I mean? How much longer do we have to travel? Well, we're not going anywhere right now. Well, you can go to the website and they'll tell you the outside temperature. Yeah, I'd love to do 720, but if you remember when we first started, we could only broadcast 10 viewers at the same time in a 320 by 320 box. So, we are light years ahead of what we were able to do when we first started. North of Dayton. So what I do on my days off? Oh. Mainly did some housework. Uh, planted, gar uh, planted garlic. So it can winter. Overwinter. Come back. In the spring. There you go, Hazy. Well, see, there's no way to really show the daily mileage on the screen. 
kind of limited in what we could do. <laughs> It's my first time to plant garlic. Let's hope it does good. I remember, Denny. I'm hoping it's just a sensor, but I don't know. Quoted Globe, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Doyle. We do got the best road crew and mods around. Logan, you went throwing eggs? Over 2,500 eggs you lost? Wow. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you drive with eggs. Denny, you have yourself a good day too. Ireland, Cork City, Ireland. That's a cool name, Cork City. <laughs> longest waiting time is for for maintenance people to get a hold of me. Howdy, Wally, Wally. Ah, Crystal, don't worry about it. It's all right if other people put us down. That's no big deal. Don't bother me none.
if somebody has to put somebody else down just to make them feel better, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> That's a nice RV. Well, you don't get 500 people watching by putting everybody else down, that's for sure. I, see, that's why I don't get involved with other channels and other people and other things. Um, I do my own thing. We're, we're all on our own. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. A lot of people misconstrue that as being anti-social. But I'd just rather steer away from all the the gossip and the uh, drama and all that stuff. We make our own drama, like breaking down on the road and <laughs> things like that, you know. We don't need to conjure up drama at the expense of other people. We're way far above that. Dispatch is already Uh, acknowledged us. We're just waiting for uh, the on-road maintenance tell us what to do. Yep, you got to stay away from the toxic stuff. You don't. You don't. <laughs> life is toxic enough. You don't need to be around all that mess. North Platte, woohoo! The thing is, people, you know, I, what, what is that saying? Flattery is the best form of something or other. You can't copy what other people are doing or try to copy what other people. You gotta do your own thing. You know. And it's funny because when I do like a search for Big Rig Travels, I see a lot of totally unrelated stuff that but they put our Big Rig Travels keywords in their videos just to bring them up, which is weird. Why would you want to use somebody else's keywords just to bring traffic to you? To me that's fake traffic. That doesn't that's not real. That's not earned. But oh well. I have not heard anything about the new Freightliner yet. As far as I know, everything's just shut down everywhere. And <laughs> we're not getting a new truck yet. So I don't know. Yeah, you know, you, you drive a million miles, you're going to break down. I don't care what truck you have. There you go. Greg and parking got it right. Uh, right now we're still waiting for the uh, the maintenance crew to set something up.
How you doing, Mike Lindale? I don't know if that's a real one or not. Or just somebody trying to use fake names again. <laughs> Or it could be somebody with an identical name. Howdy, Lewis. How you doing? Flintstone. My mind wants to read that as Flintstone. Well, good to have you, Mike. Hey, at least we got a good watch party going. <laughs> You know, I'm just glad we ran into problems before we got into downtown Chicago area. We've already blocked traffic in downtown Nashville once. <laughs> that, you know what, I. When a tow truck driver, <clears throat> we had uh, the the highway help people block the lane, and you know we had two cops out there behind us, you know, trying to keep traffic away from us. The the tow truck guy is underneath the trailer and caging the brakes and you know all that stuff, and and I'm just sitting there because what am I gonna do? And all the cars and the trucks shout nasty stuff at you because you slowed them down. It's like, come on, <laughs> trust me, I would rather be anywhere than <laughs> stuck in the middle of a five-lane freeway on a, on a holiday weekend, you know? Well, people could be nasty, you know? It's like, no sense in that. Oh, we Yeah, I I'd like you to I'd like to see I'd like to see the uh the medallions on your on your wheelchair as hubcaps. <laughs> By the way, we are in October. We didn't quite reached diamond last month for this month but we did get platinum so unlimited showers unlimited coffee bye William have yourself a good day thank you Frank Hey, you're welcome. It's off my leg. Definitely welcome. I why? How do you come up with that name? It's off my leg. <laughs> it's like I'm not making fun of you. I just some of these names. I'm thinking, how do you come up with that? You know. I'm glad you uh, glad you enjoy the channel. I just be real. That's all it is. You know. I've over the years, people ask, well, how do you get so many viewers? How do you, you know, do this, that, or the other? Thing is, I'm just, I'm just real. I just lay it all out there. You see, when we're driving, we drive when it's cloudy. We drive when it's snowing. We drive when it's storming. Um, we just treat people with respect and uh, stay away from the garbage. 
So, good morning, Ash Man from Arizona. How you doing? What's the difference between diamond and platinum? Both of them will give you unlimited showers and unlimited coffee or Coke refills. Uh, the big difference is you get three cents back per gallon or four cents back per gallon. So if you fill up with 100 gallons and you're on platinum, that's $3 in your pocket. Or if you're on diamond, that's $4. In your pocket and believe me it adds up really quick uh, a lot of times I tell people that loves is going to be my retirement have fun so yep I can stay in the shower as long as I want Did I get done what I want to get done on my break? Not really. <laughs> I got a lot done. But there's always so much stuff to do. I have a patio for the cats to make. I've got a garden to rebuild. Dig trenches. All that stuff. So, Which the two weeks off is what I wanted to be able to like get done a lot of stuff you just can't do much with four days off uh, because the first two days is just sitting there like a vegetable on the couch enjoying doing nothing you know what I mean howdy gossamer Yep, the cats are going to build a patio. There you go, Greg. I didn't even get the big grill out. Because we got... In the summer months, I've got that big grill. And I usually do two cycles of it. Meaning I cook the steaks and the chicken and the legs and the sausages and the hamburgers. And I cook way more than what we actually take in the truck because I got a big freezer downstairs and you know that way like in the winter months I still have plenty of food I don't need to get out and cook so there you go couch potato the first two days off No update on the new truck yet. Ever thought about being an owner operator? I actually did the number crunching for that. Um, you know, based on real numbers. And there was only like $200 a month difference. And it's not worth it to me. Plus, I, I would lose my health insurance. I'd lose my 401k. I'd lose... Um, you know time off I'd lose all that stuff plus any tow trucks any tires any fuel any tolls uh, all that stuff I would have to pay for and it just yeah you might make more per mile but you have to pay for your own insurance pay for your own tolls pay for your own tow truck pay for your own oil changes no holiday, no vacation, no 401k, no health insurance. To me, it's just absurd. It's not even worth it to me. So, yes, now I'm not putting owner operators down. That is a good thing if it works for you. It just would not work for me. Uh, I work, I get paid, and anything to do with the truck is up to them you know what I mean I love my 401k I love my uh, health insurance and all that stuff and it's just not a not you know 
not it doesn't work for me it, it, I'd be giving up way way too much yeah this is a watch party until we figure something out and like I said I'm not putting owner operators down nobody take me wrong there owner operator is great if it works for you uh, being a truck driver works some, for some people but some people don't um, you got to do what works best for you and like I said Forget the 401k, forget the uh, health insurance and all that stuff. Just based upon, you know, the miles and stuff like that. It was only like $200 a month difference. And that's not even close to be worth in it for me. Um... You know, you got to do what you got to do. You, whatever works best for you. Everybody is different. Everybody's situation is different. What truck would I get? I'd probably still get a Cascadia. Um, they're pretty good. I would, I would probably get a fancy one. But, you know, if I had the money, if I had, you know, um, if I had a way to get it. I would get me a big old super extended tractor, you know, the kind that's got a couch and a kitchen in there and a shower in there. And in the back, I would have a spot from a motorcycle. Um, you know, I, I would have one of those $300,000 tractors. <laughs> I really would. But then you're still talking about you still don't get 401k i get company matching you know which is two thousand three dollars a year for the last 15 years that adds up so think about it you have to pay for your tolls you have to pay for your license plate tags you have to pay for all your permits you have to pay for fuel, you have to pay for oil changes, you have to pay for Qualcomm rental, and back then, you had to pay five cents per message, sent or received. It, I mean, it would just nickel and dime you to pieces. And of course, if you break down, you not making money, you have to pay the tow truck and whatever, and. Oh my goodness, it's just not worth it to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I mean, one one time we had an axle brake on a Volvo. And that was, oh, I don't know. I think that was like $6,000 just for getting that fixed. Do I own a tractor? No, all this is company equipment. I have maxed out my 401k and my Roth IRA every year. Basically, I just drive and, and the company takes care of their own equipment. Could I install a jacuzzi? Probably. <laughs> but then, all the road crew would be in it and, and I'd probably never get to use it. Uh, so, they removed all of our trips just now. Which I kind of figured. Because. Obviously we're, we can't do anything. So all the trips are off the table. And you know, <clears throat> you think, well, if you're not running, you're not making money. Well, if I was an owner operator, I still couldn't run. <laughs> so you're still not making money. 
the thing is, when we are busy, when we are hitting that 70 hour clock, running mile after mile after mile, we bank all the money. So if we have to take time off, or we take two weeks off, or we have to take a couple days off for truck being repaired, or whatever the case may be, you, you live off the money that you banked. You know what I mean? When everything is running great, freight's running hard and all that stuff, bank all your money. That way you have money when needed. Yeah, we're not going nowhere until we get, because I don't want the clutch to go out on me in, in the middle of Chicago. I don't know, and you know, for some reason, it seems like there's a big, I don't know, riff or whatever between company drivers and owner-operators. Owner-operators think that company drivers are garbage, and to me, that's just part of the drama. <laughs> I don't play the games of, oh, I'm an owner-operator, I'm special, or oh, I'm a company driver, I'm special. Well, who cares? We're all out here doing the same thing. Exactly the same thing. That's part of the reason why we turn the CB off and we don't even have one anymore. Total garbage out there, and I refuse to be sucked into that. Everybody's just out doing a job. Will I get a pension? Well, I get the 401k and my Roth IRA. Uh, it, I don't know. I, I get a pension from Gulfstream that I worked at many, many years ago, but I don't think Trucking Company offers that. And the thing is, too, talking about lease purchases, you get, uh, you have to lease your truck. And I think it's a three-year lease, if I remember right. So you're paying all this money and all the repairs and tires and oil and whatever. And at the end of three years, you got to give it back. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. I have to give it back after spending all that money on it? What's the point of paying it off? And, just like if you lease a car, they actually charge you like 25 cents a mile. I don't know what it is, but that's what it was. 25 cents a mile over 10,000 miles a month. You know, just like they do cars. And I'm thinking that's just way too much. You're gonna nickel and dime me to death. I'd rather drive a company's equipment and, and uh, I don't know, if, if there ever was a falling out, we just, you know, I just move out of the truck and move on, <laughs> you know what I mean? No leases to worry about, no, none of that stuff. Yeah, we used to work for Gulfstream and L3 and KC Aviation and all that stuff. Electronics or candles? I don't know. Could be. We got 500 people sitting here watch, watching truck fuel at end. Come on, call me up. Let's see what are we gonna do with this tractor.
There you go, Mark. Do I have any say in the type of truck that you get from your company? Yes and no. Um, if they have a lot of trucks, a lot of times you can, you know, see see what they have available. By the way, if you missed out on the chance to own a bobblehead that we offered up last year, somebody donated a bobblehead to the auction. 100% of the proceeds of the bobblehead will go to Wounded Warriors Project. Help our veterans out. Someone bought me three coffees. Thank you very much. We're going through mail real quick. Jerry checking in from Clarksville, Tennessee. You're gonna bring me a steak? Well, I was headed that way. Watching us in Warrington, UK. Thirty eight emails. Oh, my half of them's junk. I know, Gossamer, he wants to give me a vampire steak. Well, this ain't the way I had hoped to come back, but, you know. Like I said, I'd rather to find out early than to find out later. Does the time of maintenance count against the clock? Technically, it should. Um, right now, it doesn't because we're waiting on them to call us. So, I don't know. So, I tell you what, do we have a trip, trip blog posted for the last trip we did? Ended in Peoria, I don't remember. What's the best way to get me shopping food money? 
Um, you could you could donate through PayPal. You could donate through a bunch of different ways. If you want to send it directly to me with nobody taking any money out for credit card fees or whatever, go to PayPal me slash Big Rig Travels. I believe that's what it is. You have to go to the website, click on donate page, and you'll see see a bunch of different ways. Would it be helpful if there was a weekly clock that always reset every week? Well, that's what we have right now. We have a 70 hour clock that resets every eight days. But you can't drive more than 70 hours. Yeah, Super Chats takes out like 40% or something. When you buy a coffee, that takes out 8%. If you do PayPal, they take 2% 2 but if you do PayPal slash or PayPal.me or whatever that is on that link, uh, you could actually do it without any money coming out. What is that? Let me let me try this command here. See if this will do it. I think we had one. Maybe that's a bad command. I don't know. No, we are not Bobtail. There you go. Woohoo! I got it right. If you use that PayPal, PayPal me, Big Rig Travels, PayPal does not take any money out whatsoever. Because they consider that a direct transfer. How you doing, counting? Counting the blessings? What do I watch in my free time? Believe it or not, I watch a lot of America's Got Talent or whatever. Whatever that's called. I like that. I like a lot of the singing. Silly people. <laughs> but I don't really do much TV watching. Uh, usually there's too much to do in the yard. When I get a bypass around scales, what is that based on? It's based on your company's safety rating. It's based on your personal safety rating and your weight. A lot of them have scales right in the middle of the right lane that you run over. And if you're light and you got a good company record and all that stuff, 99 out of 100 times you're going to get a bypass, which is what happens to us. Sometimes they turn that off and call everybody in. And we've done that as well. Howdy, Raymond. How you doing? Maintenance people must be busy this morning. <laughs> I 
Oh, you don't want to hear me sing. Whenever I sing, our numbers go down. <laughs> Thank you, Thunder. Appreciate that. Raymond, you're you're famous. Raymond Edwards, your name has been said around the world. Here, we not played this today. Welcome to Big Rig Travels, your guide to the American Highway. You're in the middle of another Big Rig Travels live broadcast. We hope you're enjoying the ride as we take you across America on the longest running road trip ever. Make sure you click on subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever we go live. Don't forget to stop by the BigRigTravels.com website to learn about this trip and visit the BRT store and pick up your favorite shirts and the official Mash It Hard. Did we do the countdown audio before starting the date? No, I forgot. Howdy, how? How you doing? I got a story to tell you about the cookies. <clears throat> I had one cookie in the truck. I took the cookies home with me. I had one more cookie. Somebody saw the bag and scarfed the bag of cookies down. Probably Orangey and Nelly. Maybe, maybe if we do the countdown, <laughs> the truck will work. No, we didn't sell the cookie. Somebody stole them all. Mason City, how you doing? Oh, and... Peggy gave me, because we met Peggy in uh, Peoria, she gave me a sandwich, the sandwich was good. She gave me lemon, lemon and mint soda. And I'd, I'd try to drink that last night. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Extreme strong lemon, extreme strong mint. You drink it, and it goes down smooth, and then it punches you in the throat. I would never buy that. <laughs> yeah, that's some that's some rough stuff. Movie Dutch was filmed at the Road Ranger. 
Really? Peggy is awesome. All of our road crew is awesome. Yeah, it was lemon mint. Pella Gringo. There you go. Sangria Pella Gringo. How long am I going to be here? I don't know. That's the question of the day. <laughs> yeah. What did I say between Peggy's sandwich and the awesome road crew? I said Mark's hair looks nice. Hey, Masute. How you doing? How did I find them all? I didn't, they all found us. Get a rope. Come on, emergency road crew. Good thing we're not stuck on the shoulder. You like you like the bears? Oh, beard. <laughs> Did I really trim my beard for Peggy? Huh? No? We should have shirts in, road, in the store that do say I'm a big rig travels road crew. Don't we?
In fact, you know what? The shirt I'm wearing right now has a picture of our truck and it says Big Rig Travels Team Lead. The uh, road crew got it for me on our first ever road crew camp out back in 2010. How's the truck on vibration on the road? Truck is okay. Do I have a hydraulic seat? It's an air ride seat. You hear that? That's a truck breathing. Yeah, we need to just re completely redo all the photos on the photo website. I need to hire somebody to do that because I just ain't got time to s s open them all up, I guess. Oh man, we got everything washed out from the Irish Spring. You know, the Irish Spring bottle actually got into the power supply box. I ended up taking that thing apart. First, I let it drain, all the soap drain out. Uh,. Let the air, the soap drain out of the power supply. And there was at least a cup worth of soap in there. So after it drained out, we took it up, took it apart, opened it up for the main control panel, literally stuck it under the water and washed it all. And then put the, you know, let it drain and put the uh, leaf blower on it. 185 mile an hour leaf blower to blow all of the water out and then we let it sit in the sun and dry out even more then we plugged it in and it worked so good night other do I ever carry the Segway yes it's underneath the bunk right now Now look at that pl prime truck. <laughs> He's just sitting there blocking that fuel lane. There he goes. Now he pulls forward. The power supply to the new power station that we need to do a review on. Y'all haven't seen it yet. So now we have two big power stations. One we already did the review on. Oh, speaking of which, I noticed the other day someone bought a, someone watched our video on our freezer, big refrigerator freezer. Somebody watched that video and bought the freezer through our link in our YouTube video. 
I want to say many, many thanks because that gave us a $71 uh, advertising fee from Amazon. So I appreciate that. So that's why using any Amazon links does help support the website. Yeah, we have a new power station we need to do a review on. I don't know why, dang, where is... How long has it been? When did we send this message? 9.44? So it's been an hour? Seems like it's been longer. Why don't I have a cattle guard on a tractor? Because we don't normally hit cows. Road crew link, yeah. I messed up when we changed servers. I need to bring all that back. That's my fault. <laughs> hey, is this them? Hello? Yes. Yes.
Okay. Woohoo. So
All right, so we are gonna go over to truck country. They're going to diagnose, diagnose it and see what the deal is. So, Might tell us everything is fine. Or maybe not. So all trips are off the board, for obvious reasons. We're going to get it checked out because they agreed with me they didn't want me to drive it and end up in a worse situation, <laughs> being stuck out in the middle of the highway in Chicago and needing a tow truck and being a danger to ourselves or somebody else.
is how do you get over to it. A whole lot of trucks in there. They will do the diagnostic testing today. trailer because I can't work on a trailer or on a truck with a trailer attached to it
trailer disconnected. Hey, we need that little burgundy truck. Pretty nice. Let's go see what we can come up with. Oh, here, in the meantime, here's an Oreo. Get your face masks.
Okay, so. They are going to look at it in a couple of hours. <clears throat> um, to look at it in a couple of hours. They said that a lot of the freight liners are having problems with bad sensors for the clutch. So they'll look at it and see what the real problem is. So I figure we'll sit here and chat with y'all if you want. But we won't be able to broadcast when they take it in. The thing is... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I should have my buddy come get me. <laughs> or what. So we'll have to see. But, I don't know. You want to keep the camera going until they come out? We'll just have this uh, watch party. Even though there ain't nothing to watch but a service door. <laughs> Trailer is disconnected up against the back fence. All trips are off. <laughs> yes, we can leave the truck keys with them. I don't know how far it is, though. 20 miles or whatever. get breakdown bay which is $50 it's better than nothing if we were owner operator we wouldn't get breakdown pay <laughs> the thing is if I call my buddy that means Everything in the freezer is going to have to come back out. <laughs> Door number one, huh?
I didn't bring my milk with me. Give me $100 for each paper clip in my purse. I don't have a purse, but I got a paper clip right here, so you owe me 100 bucks. So Rosa Brothers milk is is expensive, huh? They do have a lounge for waiting inside, <clears throat> which we would do when they take the truck inside.
stick this on the uh, window. And then what's the mileage on there? 269338. Oh, is that a key? Okay. Yeah. And then VIN number AJ7. Get moving. All right. Hey, bad tag. Hey John, how you doing? We did not replace a 51. We just got that phone. How many how many phones do we need in a year? <clears throat> we didn't do anything with the a 51. I'm not rich enough to own a new phone every two months. Hey, our, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Our truck is parked directly in front of that little window.
Well, this isn't exactly what I thought we would be doing today. Howdy, Trudy. I drove right by your road. Hey Crystal, we'll leave it on till I come and get the truck. So, <clears throat> howdy, Randy.
Well, John is on the ball. I went, <laughs> I went to go change our status, and John already did it. John is on the ball. So anybody got questions for me? But we had good air. That's why the air, we had good air all the way. Cool and temperature right now is 171. The studio is kind of like just sitting there. I need to paint the back wall and get stuff kind of set up. Have I ever hit an animal? I have not. How you doing, Judy? Well, we, we hit a deer with our trailer. Anybody remember that? When that deer jumped the Jersey barrier? and ran head first into the back of our trailer. I have no idea when we'll get the new truck. This is a Freightliner dealer, truck country, yep. How many gallons does a fuel tanker hold? I don't know, actually. How you doing? I don't even know how to say your name. <laughs> Cinderin. What's well, two plus two? Five. Yep, the deer hit us. He ran across the Jersey barrier. We moved the truck a little bit so he didn't hit the tractor, but he, he ran right into the back wheels. And yes, it was a mess. Howdy, Abby. Who takes care of my tires? Company does. Which we need new tires. We definitely do. I had a decent time off. Never long enough to do anything we need to. Howdy, Krista. You know, it's been a while since we were shut down at a dealer. Last time we were shut down at a dealer, it was South Dakota for the fuel. Remember when we put 200 gallons of fuel in, made it three miles down the road?
You Goyle. <laughs> Coming to take it? Coming to take it? Yeah. All right. All right, let me let